or Italian parsley. Oh, come on now. You know what it say. I have two of these. Salt. Black pepper. Paprika. Human, not much. <coughs> Oregano. Cinnamon, not much. Now, if you want to, you can add seasoning salt or all seasoning. Next page. Now, that's it right there. It's all uh, smushed up. Put it in the refrigerator for one hour or four hours. Best results overnight. Now, I'm getting ready to make what's known as tzatziki sauce. Be right back. Now, here's your cucumber. Here's a grater. What you do is you grate the cucumber inside your bowl, your dish, or whatever you have you. And you do it as much as you like. Next page. Now, after you grate your cucumber, you add a little bit of salt to that to bring out the water. Cucumbers are 98% water. So add salt to that. Don't drink, take away the seeds. The seeds have medicinal properties. So don't take away with the seeds. Now what you do is you put the grated cucumber on a paper towel and you smash out all the excess water. Don't want watery sauce. Next page. This is yogurt. Some say use Greek yogurt. There is no such thing as Greek yogurt. Take your yogurt, you put it with your cucumbers. Next page. Add garlic to it all as much as you want. Next page. To your sauce. Add cayenne pepper. I don't, I'm not sure if that's a real dish for the sauce I'm making, a real ingredient, but you add cayenne. Next page. Add lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice is preferred. Next page. After you add all that, just stir it. Um, and I'll be right back. Next page. Now, after that, you add dill. Since I don't have any dill, I do have dill pickle juice. So I'm going to add that. Next page. Now, after you stir that up, you can add sour cream if you want to make it thicker. Let it sit for about uh, one to two hours. Let all the flavors 
Get together and blend and dance on your tongue. Next page. You can add a little bit of black pepper. You can add more salt. Just remember, you already put salt on the cucumbers to drain the water off the cucumbers. And cucumbers itself are salty. Next page. Remember this? I'm going to make these into rolls. Next page. This is what I mean by roll. So I'm going to wrap this up. It's going to go outside on my grill. Next page. And this episode is brought to you by Kingsford. Just like the bag. These are going to go on my grill. Yes, I wrapped them in foil, but they still will have the grilled taste. They just won't have the char. I poked holes in them to make sure it has the grilled taste. They may even have some char. Next page. Okay. I have this kind of bread. In a few moments, I will fix it up and show you what I mean. Next page. Okay, this is what I mean. It'll have the grill taste, but it won't have any char. It may have a little char because I poked holes in it. Next page. Now, over there yonder, that white thing, I have rice going on. Next page. Now, right here. Red bell pepper, tomatoes, cucumber, pickle, onion. You will see what's up. Next page. This right here, but well, this is quiche. It was prepared earlier to save time. Mediterranean quiche. Next page. Now those rolls I showed you, they usually take between five and eight minutes to cook. But since I have them wrapped in foil, they're gonna take between 25 and 40 minutes to cook. Next page. Okay, as I said before, they will have a little, they may have a little char on it, but I covered them up and they won't have too much. Everybody thinks char means burnt. That, that's not true. Char is like a flavor. Next page. Now, here is my finished product. Okay. So, there's the ground lamb. On top of the rice, tomatoes, black olives, cucumber, pickle onions, and there's my Mediterranean quiche. Here is my pita bread. I'm going to sit down and eat. Thank you. Please like, please subscribe. If you like everything, please leave a comment. Thank you for coming. Give a thumbs up. Give a thumbs down. It don't even matter because you came to see me. God bless. Have a beautiful night. A beautiful day. Mwah.